What's up guys and girls, it's your boy Spider Productions here and today we are here with the next episode of The Flash. This is season seven, episode, I believe it's episode seven, uh, Lockdown. So I believe if I remember from the promo last week, the promo for this week's episode is Barry and the captain, who I believe the captain is a metahuman from season seven, uh, it is stuck in GCPD, GC. I'm used to saying that. CCPD, uh, the police station, and it's because Goldface and his crew are trying to steal something out of the police uh, weapons vault. And I don't know what it is. I don't remember what he said it was, but it was something that he's trying to take. And Barry has to find a way to save all the cops and take down Goldface. So, um, other than that, last week's episode was focused heavily on excess and Bart uh, impulse. And I definitely loved that episode. I did like that episode. I like that we got an episode focused on them obviously because it's been a, a whole s two seasons since we or season since we saw excess fully um we did see her towards the end of season seven yes but like as full like fully we hadn't really seen much of her but i'm glad we got an episode focused on those two um i thought they, they have great chemistry together they really do and would, i like seeing them bounce off each other but anyway we're going to jump into this episode we're going to check this out so without further ado let's get watching Travis up downtown. Oh, yeah. Looks like it was a good day to pull monitor duty just to pee. <laughs> it's nighttime. Mm. He has a Supergirl <laughs> lunch bag? I'm assuming a Supergirl is pink. I was supposed to make the egg salad this morning. Grandma Runk is going to be epically mad. And I got Nana for lunch. To break every four hours, and it's only gonna take me like four minutes because the kitchen's just right down the hall. And then again, that is time enough for a nuclear meltdown and an alien invasion in this town. So, gotcha. totally understandable. Oh, what up? Hey, huh? <laughs> I thought you'd be working. I, I was, and then I remembered it's Wednesday, and that place I told you about at last week's D&D game, Hirschfields. Today is when they have their amazing chicken parmesan sandwiches, so I thought it's a lunch deck. Did and not surprising not. the treat. She Thanks. is a girl who died for. Her. A girl who brings you food? In major what? I am. Chicken yeah, parmesan? Definitely. What? I mean, that's that's good that's good to know, you know, and I too think that you are also um what you just like worthy of what you just said a second ago. Yeah. These two are definitely going to get together. Honestly, I think I go for it. Okay, um, we got a mugging in progress off of 119. And a carjacking at the Edwards Center parking lot. And a hold up at Jitters. Damn. Is that happening right now? Don't worry, guys. Party on it. Uh, all of it, boss? <laughs> yeah, why not? Pretty fast. You heard me. I want everything in the register and a triple shot latte with oat milk, not soy. This guy again? <laughs> Think these guys could use some help finding their cells. Uh, thanks, Flash. Yeah. What's going on out here? I didn't do nothing. Want to see my lawyer? Yeah. What they said. Hey. Any chance Flash bought that latte I ordered? Officers, take these gentlemen to the holding, please. <laughs> okay. Captain, hey. Staff meeting's canceled, Alan. For the record, you'd have been late. Sorry, I uh, was just, I got caught up with a little blood spatter analysis, but it looks like you've had a busy morning. Yeah, and it's about to turn into a busy afternoon, evening, and night, thanks to this generous donation from the Scarlet Speedster. What, but the flash of those guys, that's a good thing, right? How can I press charges when I don't know what crimes were committed, how they were done, and where? Forget that pause on my desk, I'll be right back. What? And it's not like we can just call up the Flash and ask. Yeah, like on a Flash phone or... Yeah, that's a terrible name. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. Um, Wait. The CCPD's never had a line to the Flash before. Yeah, but for once I would like to feel like the Flash and law enforcement are on the same page, instead of us just always playing catch-up. I mean, that's kind of true, though. 
cancel any plans you have for tonight. I've got a lot of like work to do. I mean, that's understandable. Like, he's always just bringing criminals in and they don't really know what they did. But my thing is, when you have cameras to be able to detect what they did, and I guess because before Barry just told Joe and Joe just knew, but in this case, I guess not. Okay. I think I don't mind Barry working close with law enforcement. It would make sense. Uh, look, maybe I can do a better job communicating when I'm dropping off criminals, but giving CCPD a direct line to the Flash, you don't really think that's necessary, do you? I don't know, Barry. When I was captain, I had a direct line to the Flash. Mm, I mean, me too. When I was district attorney, if I had a question on a case, all I ever had to do was call you and get the details. That's because you're family. Which she is not, and I get that. But what she and I went through when we were tracking down Craig, I... I trust her with my life. But maybe you should consider letting her in a bit more. Give her one of the alert apps that we all have on our phone. Yeah. Look, I get it. She's a good cop. She's a great captain. It, it, when I first got my speed, I needed a lot of help, not just from Caitlin and Cisco, but from you and everybody at CCPD. But now... Now you've leveled up. Yeah. We should yeah. try to find other ways to solve Kramer's flash problem. Like... Do an extra CSI work to collect what she needs for processing. I mean, that'll ease the burden for her, right? Sounds like it. Yeah. And I get how keeping church and state separated is the easiest choice, but I also know Kramer, and if she's asking for a line to the flash, she probably has a good reason. I'm just saying, maybe you want to think about it before you decide what to do there. I mean, that's, that's valid. That's valid. I don't mind if he gives a direct contact info to her, but I understand why he wouldn't. Like, she did kind of fire him, like, in the crossover, so I understand. Free, 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 free. Hey, today we have a self flying drone based off of an AI algorithm. She is a girl you keep, bro. What? She's a girl you keep, bro. She's willing to do your podcast for you? all the notifications and look at what keeps popping up that's all from frost and mark oh you mean my sister and her ex-con boyfriend yes they are that's sister <laughs> looks cool no it looks dangerous hey hey kingdom do you mind just taking a wee little step to the right are you live streaming uh-huh yeah <laughs> number 77 says who's the girl Sister seems cooler. Uh, okay, that's it for today. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Sorry, I'm just so annoyed. Mark keeps seeing Frost on these ridiculous dates. Well, maybe tonight will distract you. Don't you have a date too? Yes. Yeah, Marcus is taking me to the Spanish Hamper. How do you get you guys a reservation for the hottest place in town? That's impressive. Is it turning serious? I, I mean, he's really nice, and I like nice, so. That's nice. It's nice. That oh, does not sound convincing at all. He doesn't know we're on Team Flash. But soon, you and Marcus are going to fall in love. And then he's going to join us for like some crazy adventure. Then, boom, no. He's on the team. No. Hey, hey, maybe he'll learn how to control plants. It, it's their third date, Chuck. It's okay. Yeah, we don't need this dude to have powers and to be part of this team. I think we're good. Hey, guys. I think she, can keep, she should keep him away from all this. Yeah, it's just... Insane. Sounds expensive. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, y'all could... Could be fun, though. Y'all could go. Ask her out, dude. She's willing to help you on your podcast. She brings you food. That's a girl you ask on a date. Come on, man. Y'all work together. She asks you for food. She helps you with your podcast. What? That is a good woman. Ask her on a date. There is no woman who would naturally just help you with your work. You also work together on a side business, and she brings you food, and she doesn't like you. Come on now. Morning with the description of the perps the flash brought in. I then had the crime scenes, fingerprints, security footage, Corber even interviewed witnesses. So this should be everything you need to wrap up these cases. Wow, I appreciate the hustle, Alan. Just wish it was more than a bandit on a bullet wound. We have more than enough to charge all three suspects. What about the suspects the flash drops off tomorrow? day after that respectfully captain i mean th this is where we've done things the past seven years ever since the flash showed up you know the system works from your perspective 
But there are things you don't need to worry about as a forensic scientist that I need to consider as captain. I understand that, but you know, Flash is mm -hmm. just trying to help this city. And he does, all the time. But yeah, together lot. we can help even more. Humans and meta humans alike. Now, if you excuse me. Oh my god! Oh, what? Damn! How'd that not affect Barry? Oh, okay, I was about to say. Did he not get affected by that? Awfully bold of you to attack the police station. If I remember correctly, she is a, the captain is a metahuman, right? I think they said that before. Are they all wearing metadata pain cuffs? What are these? Oh, the metadata bracelets. Yeah, I was about to say. Why'd he give them to everybody, though? Wakey, wakey, ladies and gents in blue. Why do you give those to all the cops? Not all the cops are metahumans. Gold. It's mind control. From your dental phones. The 0 0.35 grams of gold in your cell phones. Don't even bother trying to phone a friend. Because we knocked out the new cell phone tower. But if anyone does come calling, they'll find a couple of Central City's finest outside telling them that there's a gas leak. What? They're on top of it. What? Wait. Girl, you're bold! This is my precinct. You have a problem, you take it up with me. Let my officers go. Uh, this is the famous Kristen Kramer. Kristen Loved Kramer. Loved you on the Citizen Topia podcast. She sounds familiar, like I've seen Thanks. her somewhere before. Captain, Not seen her, but like her name. Her, her name sounds familiar, like in a comic or something. I'm going to here show you what happens to anyone who gets out of line. Now, you may have all noticed that you're sporting a new piece of jewelry. Well, since Captain Mimic here added herself as a meta, I figured she may not be the only one of you. But these bracelets, huh. I guess, they don't just add to powers, they also do this. They explode! Of course they do. Why not? I mean, at least it makes more sense. Captain. At least it makes sense to just give them more than than dampening cuffs. Don't I know you? No. Uh, you're that rat that cost me the organ printer. The chemist. Ah! Uh, oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that was during a. Uh... Wow, that was that was in season five, right? Tell us what I remember you're... that. Wow. It's a while ago. Nobody has to die tonight. You know my lady, Amy of Black. Yeah. Not only is she the finest female this side of Mississippi. She's very attractive. She's got some intel that there are some very rare and valuable items in your armory. I want what's in there. So let's look at it. Okay. And if anyone has anything. Get the belt. It's good memory, chemist. Huh. Keep an eye on this one. He smells of trouble. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We have an issue. Seriously, Marcus, I am so sorry. I cannot believe I made a dinner reservation for next January. Please don't feel bad. Last week at work, I screwed up the booming cycle for this last series. Oh, that's her guy? Oh, okay. Thank you. I mean, really, you're just such a trooper. This first round is on me. Oh, okay. It's a little seedier than I remember. That's fun. Plus, I've got karaoke. Yeah, stop the ice pack! First ask him. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 
my Thank god! You. Why are they here? Oh no! Casual drink, but um, it's too crowded in here. Oh, is this is this the infamous Marcus as in Dr. Ficus? Um, yes. Holy crap! Hey, you two are here. Mark and I are here. We should totally make this a double date. Yes. Oh my! Oh no! God. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my no! We like to live dangerously. <laughs> Why is she dating this guy? Wasn't this the guy that tried to kill her like two seasons ago? Or last season? I don't remember. It was probably last season because I don't remember much of last season because I need to watch it. Alright, let's double date. Lord Jesus. Alright. So Caitlin is busy with, with Frost on a double date and they cannot help us. And the other two are doing Chester and uh, Allegra doing something. Where's Iris? Where's Iris there? Iris is the Iris there? Armory. Uh, looks like you got in there. According to ambulance intel, the target should be in there. That's a strength, okay. It's a weapon, but what does it do? And a little chemist, too. Where the hell are they? I don't know what you mean. The metabolites. Remember, Captain? The ones you had commissioned for your task force? One shot takes away any meta's powers forever, and I ringing, and he oh, bells. Oh, what? That's what you're stealing. Joe had knew about those? Selling. Selling? The power to take down any meta in this city, including, say it with me, the Flash. Interesting. That's gonna bring Would the on. bullets work on the Flash? But really? Bullets I mean, I guess. To be. Captain, any thoughts on that? Yeah. Those bullets belong to CCPD for only the most severe emergencies. Also, I'd die before betraying the metas of the city and putting them in any danger. I'm willing to bet you'd risk your own life, Captain, but... Dang! How about this, fools? Damn it. Just when you don't have your powers, Barry. Nice. 
<laughs> so weird. A cactus plant. It makes great cocktails. The pants of the Oplita cacti pair perfectly with an agave spirit. It would really cool to taste of strychnine, too. <laughs> strychnine. Wow, Puccini thoughtness. You can mix drinks. I like them already. <laughs> so how did you two meet? Well, we met here, actually. Mark was pouring beers by day and murdering delivery men by night. Ouch. <laughs> She's exaggerating. Well, not exactly. Okay, fine. Mark and I each spent some time on the wrong side of the law. But I paid for my crimes, and Mark turned the state's witness in some really bad guns. Ah, and the DA expunged my record. So now, clean as a whistle. Well, it seems like you've turned over a new leaf. <laughs> Dr. Fikes, there he is. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> Listen, Frost and I go skydiving again next week. Double day around two? What do you say? I mean, you seem cool, man. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I've always wanted to go this guy now. Yeah, I'm game. They say, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that when Mark got out, he seduced my sister so that he could steal a weapon out from right under her nose after he helped us save the day? And she was so upset that she just kept moping and crying and even needed to take a sabbatical. Why are we just for all of that? And I accepted it. Frost, I mean, how naive can you be? He's already betrayed you, and yet you're out there live streaming the two of you jumping out of airplanes and making out on cliffs. Remember Mount Shasta? Hell yeah. Frost, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you're acting like some stupid teenager falling in love with this guy who's already hurt you, and guess what? Is definitely going to do it again. And you know what? When that happens, I am not picking up the pieces because I am done with broken hearts. You got that? Damn. Yeah, you know, we Come get it. Come on, kid. You don't like me. But Frost is an adult with her own life. And so long as she's choosing to spend it with me, then you need to deal with it. Jeez. It's, I mean, it's valid. She's willing to you make her own choices. Talk to me that way. Your sister? Yeah, I am. Because he's my boyfriend. And anything else is none of your damn business. She, she is entitled to what she wants to do. If she wants to do that, fine. I don't like the guy either. I mean, I don't hate him, but I don't mean, I don't, he hasn't proven anything to me for me to like him yet, so. I'll pull the car up. But I mean, if she wants to date the bad boy, that's perfectly for her. Plus it kind of fits her. She's a bad girl in a sense. So it makes sense if that's the type of guy she goes for. But I mean, hey. I'm sorry, do you want him? Oh, my bad. Maybe I should just take a leisurely stroll down the hallway. I know obviously they couldn't pay for the actress to be on this episode. <laughs> this guy is funny. I like him. I mean, I we've had like two seasons of him, but last the last couple seasons he was he was kind of scary. But here he's funny. He's, I like him. He's funny. So, the only way for you and your partner to be together is if you don't just do the chivalry stuff, you actually have to work together. Okay. In some senses, that could work. I feel like work relationships can be very risky, though. 
like if you're in a relationship and something happens, especially things like know, in this day and age, it can happen. Within the next hour, Amy Whammy says our buyer's gonna walk. So you yeah, look, the, the dark matter we're looking for is microscopic, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna need more time. Nah, you need incentive. Come on, do we really need incentive, dude? We were just cool. We have to help him. We were literally just having a conversation. Or your captain gets to meet the white whale. Hell uh, yeah. She gonna walk the plank, y'all. <laughs> Anton, I'm sorry. Do you not know Moby Dick? To the last, I grapple with thee. What about Rathal Khan? From hell's heart, I stab at thee. For hate's sake, I spit I know about that one. I don't know about Moby Dick. I forgot about Moby I Dick. I your first edition for your birthday. Eh? <laughs> BA in literature from Yale. I'm surrounded by Philistines. You go to Yale and you're doing this? What oh, the? Wait, wait, wait. Um, Dude. It might not be perfect, but the, the scanner's done. Now there's that service with a smile on it. Here's my second. Um, Bro, why? What is... You have many human powers and you go to Yale. Oh, that's smart! Very genius! Smart! But you still have those things on your belt, bro. That's true, if you kill him, you won't know it all the time. Nobody hides from gold face. Nobody! I like this villain. I'm not gonna lie, he's interesting. Like, he's goofy. Because before he was just... Before he was kind of intimidating and scary. Now he's goofy as hell. It's funny. I think it was after that episode with him and Emmy so Net where, like, lovey dovey. they just been goofy characters. Anything. Hold on. It's deactivated. How is that possible? Your powers work by mimicking the powers in your bionetics, right? Yes, whenever I'm in high stress situations around other men, it just happens. For about 30 seconds, I gain their powers. Why? These bracelets release RNA energy pulses that repress metagenes. Your DNA is constantly morphing based on your adrenal levels and your proximity to other metas. The cuffs were designed to handle erratic gene fluctuations, so. So my mimic powers short circuited the bracelet. This is great. Interesting. You can mimic Goldface's powers and take him down. He'll never see you coming. No, I'm not ready for that. So she can uh, mimic people's powers? I said I can't do it, Alan. Let's just stick with your plan. Find something here that can help us. We don't have much time. Huh. Okay. She can mimic people's powers. Interesting. Pardon moi, madame. The room here for two to pay their tab. You want this fine establishment to think I'm a thief. So you disappear when people want you to stick around. Like, you stick around when people want you to disappear. All kinds of complicated, Katie. Maybe that's why you can't see how much we have in common. <laughs> so yeah, believe it or not, both of us care about Frost. Yeah, and that's why you abandoned her. I'm fine. I screwed up before. But Frost is special, so I'm making up for it as best I can. I'm even putting time with a family. Yeah, what do you know about family? Uh, I know that mine's dysfunctional as hell. And the way you went off in there, you kind of reminded me of that. Yeah. You sounded just like my frumpy, backstabbing Nana. Never blame family reunion of. Let's talk about cold. <laughs> Congratulations. You actually gave me flashbacks. I'm sorry I blew up. But if you care about Frost as much as you say you do, then you'll agree that she deserves someone in the except Sir Wards and all, just like I do. Caitlin, like it or not, Frost and I are all in. There's no holding back or hiding pieces of ourselves. Just like you. What are you talking about? Come on. Face the ten bar, remember? This isn't about Snowflake and I. This is about you being more focused on hating me than focusing on your own day. You've been holding back all night. Because you're afraid to go all in with Marcus. Hmm. 
Am I wrong? Interesting way of throwing that in their face. <laughs> I mean, I I say you shouldn't just tell him that you work for Team Flash. You need to be scared. Like telling him you work for Team Flash, you don't even know how long you're gonna be together. And then again, what if you tell somebody, "Hey, my ex girlfriend works for the Flash." The best decision that either of us have ever made. And one more thing, Marcus is a really good guy. So maybe stop thinking about what it is you have to lose. Stop thinking about what it is you might gain. Thanks. So, gotta go. Pretty good advice. Oh, okay. That's some pretty good advice. You find anything? No, yeah. Let's just keep looking. Captain, your powers are our only hope to stop the goal face. I told you. Why not? Because I can't control them. <sighs> Barry, the other day, I ordered an iced coffee, but when I picked it up, it boiled in my hand. Turns out the barista was a heat meta, and I mimicked her powers without even realizing it. I understand. You, you can work on controlling your powers. I have tried. I can't figure it out, and no one can teach me. I mean, he is. You're That's talking. Why you've been so anxious about getting in touch with the Flash. You want him to train you. Oh. Why well, didn't you just say that was the reason earlier? Yeah, you could have just said that. That's a per. That's a good reason to ask. You're a metahuman. You want to learn how to control your powers. Yeah, the Flash yeah, would be the perfect the person to teach you. Plus, he's teaching a lot if of people. If they'd been more lethal, I could have killed someone without even realizing what was happening. I was hoping Flash could help me learn to control him, but he's out of reach. He's standing right there. I <laughs> am madness. Maddened. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Captain. Because if you don't... I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way and start squeezing your brave officers until they pop. <laughs> Captain, tick-tock. Box ticking down, Captain. Captain, you have to go down there right now. Don't you think I know that? Look, I did two tours on a Kandaki battlefield, and I am not afraid of dying. And I won't let any women or men under my command get hurt. But right now, I don't know how to prevent that. You have to use your powers. Look, I know you're worried about losing control, but... The military gave you all the training you'll ever need to harness your own instincts. So instead of worrying about trying to control Goldfist's powers, just let it in. Let it take over and then go all in on trusting your instincts. Believe me, you can do this. Kind of true. Even if I could, what good would it do? It'll give me the 30 seconds I need to get this cop off. Just stall Goldface until I can get his help. Perry, you saw what happens when someone tries to take off that trinket. Do you have a death wish? No, I can do this. And you can handle Goldface. You know why? You are one of the bravest people I've ever met. Let's take back our house. Seconds to give me one on one. We're officer. What's your name? Cormer. I wouldn't see you with a K. A K? Thanks. <laughs> it's a violation for Officer Cormer here. <laughs> By Felicia to Officer Cormer. This guy's funny. I like him. Dies. I mean, he, he, he's kind of intimidating. Eight. Are you really gonna count down, my dude? Boss, you could just skip the counting and kill me, you know. No sense of drama. Where was I? 27, 27. 26. 26? Why are you counting down, dude? That's kind of unnecessary. You don't disappoint, Captain. Whoa! What the hell? Give me back my chain! You 
want it, take it from me. Why isn't your bracelet working? Didn't match my outfit. <laughs> Okay. How are we getting this off, Barry? Hold it. Looks like the chemist wasn't so smart after all. That just leaves you. Time to bring the pain. Nice. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Oh, my God. Alan, he was... No, he's okay. I got him out just in time. You. Now, what were you thinking? Breaking into a police station. Whose bad idea was that, anyway? Seriously. <laughs> what can I say? I'll do anything for love. Uh huh. What do you guys do this? Eh. <laughs> I love his costume. This Flash costume is dope. Especially with the boots now, bro, it just looks so much better. Yeah, I know. Again? I'm sorry. You were amazing. I mean, Toto's with Goldface. This is what I heard. I mean, uh, Corbett told me all about it. I haven't known long enough for the Flash to arrive. Of course, he left before I got a chance to say thank you again. But at least I can thank you, Alan. I never could have stood up to Goldface that way if it weren't for your advice. No, it, it was all you. I just aimed you in the right direction. Anyway, I have them transferred to Argus 35 weeks ago. Oh, huh. you kept that secret the whole time. Goldface was about to kill you. It's called a poker face, Alan. Huh. And she gets started on the paperwork. I like her. This time I know what the charges are. She's pretty cool. I say you should tell her. You should, I mean, like have a direct line to her as the Flash. I, I don't mind that. She seemed pretty cool. Can we talk? Mark's downstairs. We have tickets to an underground rave in Keystone City. It'll just take a minute, please. I acted like a total bonehead tonight, and I was rude to you and to Mark. I am so sorry. Bonehead? Dry jackass, what is your deal? I guess my baggage to unpack when it comes to dating. You think? The reason I've been afraid to go all in with Marcus is because the last time I did, I lost everything. And I think that's why it's so hard for me to see you with Mark. It's, I envy how honest and free and effortless your relationship is. Effortless? I'm sorry, that's not exactly what I call a roller coaster, but it's frostly. Frostly? You're aware I stabbed him, right? Yeah. You make huh. it seem easy. I mean, y'all did Mark fight, too, something. if I remember that. Mark? My Mark? Yeah. Mark showed me that if I'm going to have a chance at finding the same thing, then I need to take the same leap with Dr. Ficus. Tell me how to do it. That's great. I'm happy for you. Thank you. And I'm happy for you with Mark. You know, he is himself. <laughs> So does this mean we can do that whole double date thing for real? I need to patch things up with Marcus, but after that, I'd love to. Great. Mark and I signed up for a roller derby on the weekend, and we need two extra players, so you have a mouse guard, right? Roller derby? Uh, I could probably find one, maybe. Cool. Practice starts tomorrow, 8 a.m. Don't be late. Ew, 8 in the morning? What the fuck? Enough? <laughs> I guess. Love 
what you've done with the place. It's it's different than the last captains. Flash, on behalf of this whole department, I wanted to thank you. I like how I wouldn't have stopped Goldface without you. Cool. It was for your smart thing. I like I like how he just feels smart. more free so and joking. If you need me, you can call me on this. What's that? We're gonna keep this city safe. Oh, it's a beeper. Together. Which is why I want to share something else with you. A true identity. What? Why? I know it's you. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Really? How did you find out? I found this charred bracelet in the storage room. There is only one way you could have escaped a bomb exploded from your wrist. I mean, that is super speed. Kind of true. Okay, makes sense. I'm glad she didn't just know for this whole time, but yeah. Okay. You really are a great cop. Okay. And I'd be more than happy to train you to become an even better man. All right. Okay. I mess with this. Okay. All right. I mess with that. Oh, Iris, where the hell have you been all episode? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot Joe has another kid because we never see his. We never see the other kid ever. How old is she at this point? Uh. Is it because of her, uh, whatchamacallit? Didn't that, uh, the guy from the Still Force, I think he's the Still Force, if I remember correctly. Wasn't he the guy that took away all of her treatments? And didn't he put those treatments back? He didn't put them back? So I assume this is because of her treatments, but he didn't put the treatments back on? I assume that's probably what's happening. But like, what was that? Something about a case? That probably may have happened last season that I haven't seen, but. All right, guys, there you have it. That was Lockdown. That was a really good episode, actually. I really enjoyed that. Um, I like the captain. I really like her a lot. I, I wasn't sure about her at first because I only saw her in the crossover, but I really like her. And I thought it's interesting that she's a meta. It would make it feel more, I guess more homey for the Flash to work with a captain who's also a metahuman. So that makes sense. Um, I also liked Goldface a lot more in this episode. I thought he was funny. He was a funny dude. Um, Cause last time I remember seeing him was the first time we saw him. No, well, no, the last time we saw him was when he had that, that Valentine's Day episode with Amunet and him and Barry and Iris were trying to fight the two of them together. Um, which was a very interesting episode. But yeah, I, that was the last time I remember. Hmm. Sorry. But yeah, that episode was kind of cringy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was a very cringy episode, but it was very funny. But yeah, that was that was a very fun episode. I liked him a lot in this episode. He was very goofy. Um and goofy and to the point where he wasn't cringy. He was he, he was just goofy. And I felt like that works. Like he's goofy to the point where he's goofy, but he's not cringy. So I messed with that. Yeah, I think I think the Flash is on a good streak so far this this season. If if the series is coming to a close by next season, kind of sucks. But I did hear that it was renewed for season nine, so that's good. But I think the Flash is kind of getting back up there so far. So far, I would say these these last couple episodes in the crossover have been really good. Like I've been enjoying these episodes a lot. So yeah, I, I enjoy this a lot, man. 
hopefully uh, Superman and Lois is available soon so I can react to that too and post that on the channel. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to The Flash Season 8, Episode 7, Lockdown. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode of The Flash, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Hit the subscribe button to be part of the community. And hit bell notifications so you guys know when I shall post next. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.